nodes the different nodes that are present in the thorax i have tried to summarize it right here there is internal thoracic nodes uh, these are the nodes that are present in the anterior aspect in the anterior intercostal space parallel to the sternum these are roughly five or six in number and uh, they drain most of the anterior aspect of the chest including the medial aspect of the breast that is the most common question and uh, they uh, drain also the structures from the thorax and some from the liver too intercostal nodes these are the intercostal nodes that are present in the intercostal space in the posterior these are the ones that are majorly draining uh, the structure along the intercostal space then there is diaphragmatic nodes diaphragmatic nodes are present near the margins or the attachments of the diaphragm like they are visible right here and they can be visible right along the other attachments of the diaphragm so these majorly drain the diaphragm and through the diaphragm they sometimes drain the liver especially there are connections through the bare area of the liver then bronchi brachiocephalic nodes majorly present along the brachiocephalic veins here is the brachiocephalic node shown right here and here and then there is posterior mediastinal nodes there are some nodes present in the posterior mediastinum along the great vascular structures and then there are uh, vessels around the trachea and bronchus and uh, here uh, there is tracheobronchial nodes where the trachea and bronchi meet then there are paratracheal nodes on either side of the trachea then the pretracheal nodes in front of the trachea so there are different nodes that you must know the name of let us talk about the main lymphatic duct that is going through thoracic duct most of the lymphatics of the thorax ultimately um, it joins together to form a duct known as bronchomediastinal trunk bronchomediastinal trunk most of the thoracic lymphatics they it enter like that and it goes into one of the two things on the right right lymph duct on the left thoracic duct let's talk about the thoracic duct thoracic duct all of the lymphatics from the lower limb and the abdomen they are collected through a number of channels and they enter and the all of the lymphatics below the abdomen and both of the lower limbs it terminates here it is called cisterna cali cisterna cali this is a sac lymphatic sac that is present in front of uh, vertebra number l1 l2 sometimes l3 so it is present right here cisterna cali from here now a duct arises from the superior end this is known as thoracic duct it enters into the thoracic cavity through the aortic opening on the right side of the aorta and it moves up it moves up uh, the posterior wall along the vertebra slightly on the right side of the midline and it goes up then it crosses the midline reaches to the left side uh, roughly at the level of transverse thoracic plane then it goes up 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 and it uh, remains on the left side and then as you can see as it goes on the neck then it jumps forward like here it is behind the artery behind the vein then it comes forward above the subclavian artery above the subclavian vein and here it enters into the subclavian vein at the junction between the internal jugular vein and the subclavian vein it enters this angle here this is the pathway of the thoracic duct and at the point where it is entering the uh, subclavian vein before terminating it receives two more lymphatic channels it receives a left jugular trunk that is uh, draining the left side of the head and neck and it gets left subclavian trunk that is draining the left upper limb so all of this and and there is a large number of variation all three of these things bronchomediastinal trunk left jugular trunk and bronchomediastinal trunk actually enters the thoracic duct near its terminal part and uh, these three things um, bronchomediastinal subclavian jugular there is a lot of variation uh, they may join together all three of them enter at one point they may each uh, enter independently or two of them may join and they may go into the subclavian they may go into the jugular and they may go into the uh, angle between the two on the left side the three supply structures remain the same like the from head and neck right lymphatic right jugular trunk on the right there is right subclavian and on the right there is right bronchomediastinum from the thorax all three of them will join and they form a very small structure less than half an inch and this is known as the right lymphatic duct from this discussion you may be able to decipher this image in all of this 
the area shown in the white this is all of the area that is drained by the thoracic valve because all of the area below the abdomen including the pelvis perineum and the two lower limbs that is drained by systemic cali so thoracic duct drains that and the three channels bronchomediastinal jugular subclavian on the left side they are drained with the thoracic duct on the right side these three areas the upper limb the thorax and the right head and neck regions that drains to the right lymphatic channel so the, on the black is shown the drainage area of the right lymphatic channel on the left side white side is shows the lymphatic drainage of the thoracic duct thoracic duct uh, a true or false question it passes through esophageal opening passes through is aortic opening it drains them from the whole body and none of the above which option is correct Yes, it passes through the aortic opening. Option A. Cisterna cali lies in front of which of the following vertebra? It lies in front of the lumbar vertebra number. One and two. Uh, I will let me I want to show you this one and two. Option B. You see one and two. It is present in front of one and two. <clears throat> and this is not a for test of your knowledge, but uh, you can take it as uh, on notes. The human anatomy, the thoracic duct of lymphatic system. It is also known as. These are the alternate names. It's called the left lymphatic duct. It's called the elementary duct because it is containing the lymphatic from the GAT. Containing the fats and other things, lumbar spinal, backward duct. If the thoracic duct obstruct, thoracic will develop in all of the followings except upper limbs, abdomen, lower limbs. It will not develop into the cyber hemisphere because they do not have lymphatics on their own. Uh, so that's all about the topic of the lymphatics of the thoracic cavity. If you have any further questions, suggestion, and feedback, please mention in the comments below.